guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today we're going to make one of my favorite recipes from my new book, Nourish in Five, called the Chocolate Mousse Tart. I'm really excited because this is one of my favorite recipes and I haven't made it in a while. So I've doubled the recipe because I am gonna make it for one of my really good friends' birthday. Um, so it's really simple, so you can have an optional crust or you can buy it if you want, but I don't know why you would because it's really easy. It's just nuts of choice. I'm using a blend of walnuts, cashews and macadamias, which I've also lightly roasted. That's also optional. Some dates, which I've pre-soaked because mine are a little bit hard. And some raw cacao powder, which is full of antioxidants and it's going to give the crust that beautiful chocolatey flavour. And then for the mousse, I've got some coconut cream, which I'm going to scoop out the creamy part only. Some delicious sugar-free chocolate, which I've already melted. Some pure Canadian maple syrup. Make sure you get the good stuff because maple syrup flavor, the authentic kind, is just sensational. And also the secret ingredient, which is some tofu, and don't worry, you cannot taste it at all. And also some vanilla essence or vanilla powder. I'm using some organic vanilla powder because that's what I have. And I also love how there's antioxidants in that too. So the first thing we're gonna do is make the crust. So that's just those three ingredients. The dates, the raw cacao powder. I'm just gonna check how sticky the consistency and it looks pretty good. You basically kind of want it like a protein ball texture and it's really nice and sticky and we can put that in to our crust. So I'm using this extra large tart pan to look really good, I think. Um, you can kind of see that I've left some chunks in it, which is like perfectly fine. You don't need to pulverize it to a tiny thin consistency. I actually kind of like the chunky nuts in it because it adds a really nice texture and crunch. Oh yeah, make sure you taste it as well in case you want to add like extra seasonings like salt or vanilla. But mine does not need that. And then I'm going to flatten that firmly into the tart pan. I've also just lined the bottom of the pan so it's easier to remove and enjoy later. This is probably the part that takes the longest because I do want to take some photos and videos of it after because a lot of hard work has gone into it. Well, not really hard, but it's just like a lot of hard work has gone into the actual aesthetic of it. I'm like super perfectionist and want to do like every edge like perfectly. So I have done that as perfectly as I can. So I'm going to pop this into the freezer whilst we make our mousse. So the next thing we are going to make is the chocolate mousse part. So we're going to need the coconut cream. I'm gonna crack that open and I'm gonna reserve the liquid and you can use it for other things like smoothies or curries. So don't waste that. Also, I'm just gonna use the same food process. I'm not gonna wash it. This is like a minimal fuss recipe. That's what we want. So you can see how thick that cream is because I have refrigerated it overnight or you can also freeze it for like 20 minutes or so before you use it. Now the chocolate. Ooh. Amazing. The maple syrup. Yum, oh my god, I can't tell you how good this already smells. I love maple syrup. Now the tofu, please. I'm just using it like this. Normal firm tofu. I try and buy organic when it comes to soy wherever possible because it is one of the highest GMO foods in the world. Now, finally, the vanilla powder. Then blend until creamy and smooth. Very creamy. Oh my god, it actually 
actually smells amazing and then don't forget to do a taste test. Oh, oh my God, it is actually so good. Like, I'm just gonna put like a little pinch of salt in it. I'm using pink Himalayan salt just to give it that intensity of the flavor. And then I just want to be, I want it to be like extra, extra smooth and creamy. So I will. Mm. So now there is extra creamy and delicious. I am extremely excited to eat this. It's just, yeah, it tastes so good already. It hasn't even set. So I'm gonna pour that in. Woo! I'm sorry, I just need to take a quick boomerang of this so I can post it to my Instagram and tease everyone. If you don't follow me, my Instagram is Amy Active. Now you can sort of decorate it however you want to. to make sure it's extra smooth. Look at how deeply satisfying this is. Oh my god. You can use, you know, chocolate chips, cacao nibs for even more antioxidants, some fruit, edible flowers, whatever you please. So I am going to decorate my cake with some more sugar-free dark chocolate, some fresh pomegranate, and if you want to see an easy hack to remove the seeds, click the link up there. And also some rose petals. I actually bought some roses fresh, so to dry them, I just lightly bake them in the oven for like five, ten minutes until they're like crispy and usable. So, first thing I'm gonna do is swirl this dark chocolate in it. Ooh, yeah. Then I'm just going to swirl it. This is like so much fun. Yeah. So now that I've very carefully decorated this, I'm going to pop it in the freezer for about 30 minutes maybe. Or you can also refrigerate it overnight, but I'm a bit short on time because I do have to go to my friend's birthday soon. And yeah, look how amazing that looks. Oh, I'm really excited. It's not so easy. So here we have the final result of the tart. I'm really happy with it and hopefully my friend likes it too. I literally cannot wait to dig into it. It's so smooth and creamy. It's got that roasted nut crust, which is super fudgy, and then the creamy, rich, chocolatey middle. And I promise you that none of your friends are gonna realize it's full of protein-packed tofu. So yeah, I really hope you try this recipe at home. Let me know if you do by tagging me and sharing with me on my Instagram, Amy Leact. I'll also link where you can get a copy of my book where this recipe is. It's on page 137. And if you did like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. That really helps me. And comment below what you think and if you want to see more recipes like this. See you next time.